And there are some dynamics that can get in the way of innovation, creativity, doing things differently, challenging the status quo. Anything else? What's a breakthrough to you? The internet itself, yeah. Well, some of mine are pop rocks. I love pop rocks. Pop rocks, when I was a kid. Yeah. Is there anyone here who's never had pop rocks? I just, okay, just let it smoosh around a little bit. There we go. Go for it. <laughs> ah, yeah. The goal here is to disengage autopilot. You know, everybody's talking about innovation, but we don't like surprise. There's a disconnect happening. I'm going to hit click 360. Now I am inside the room of that page. I can walk around, I can scroll, I can scan, turn around. Hopefully I won't see some creepy guy in the corner. <laughs> but you know, we we're talking about all these technologies, mobile, social, cloud, augmented reality. At the end of the day, none of those really matter. What matters is the experience you want to give to your customer. You've got business model innovation, process innovation, brand innovation, financial innovation. There, there's a lot of different ways one can innovate. We are going to have an innovation trivia show. There are some key messages here as well. So you should just yell it out. If I hear it, I'll point to you. YouTube did not start out as YouTube as we know it. It started out as something else, a specialty website of some sort. What kind of website was it? Da who said dating? What's your name? John. John said dating. That is true. I think John was the only one to use it as a dating site <laughs> because it didn't work. These big innovations often start out as something else. You don't know the answer when you start out. You have a sense that you want to do something big, and you go for it. You let the surprise roll in. You change your assumptions, challenge your assumptions, shift on a dime, and something good happens.